So we're proceeding uh, and a lot of things are starting to make sense. But the issue is that the reason why zero showed up is that uh, our denomination is in dollars, which is our currency, but paystack is denominated in Naira. So if we come here and put amount, so the amount we have here is too low, which is 40. It will just put the number 40. And in dollars, $40 might be big, but in Naira, $40, 40, the number 40 is so small. So and it's lower than how much paystack charges per transaction. So that's why they just re reduced it to zero. All right. So basically, what we want is to put a high number here. So temporarily, temporarily, I will just put, let's say, 3,600 Naira. So 3,600 Naira. Um, now, if you're in Nigeria, this must be in Kobo. So Kobo is like the cents of, of Nigeria. The way you have dollars, then you have cents. A um, hundred cents make one dollar. A hundred Kobo make one Naira. So now, um, whatever amount you're entering here in Naira, you have to add extra two zeros to it. One, sorry. An extra two zeros, one, two. That is to make it Naira. So this is 36... Um, 360,000 Kobo, but when you now check it, it will turn to um, 3,600 Naira. So what we're going to do is we'll come here, we'll reload. Now it has refresh. If we, if we click pay now, you see that it's 3,600 Naira. That's beautiful. So um, I'm just walking you through how you understand these payment processes. Some, um, some payment up processing platforms like PayPal might give you the option of um, specifying the currency you understand so you might uh, specify the currency uh, of the platform but for for this one paystack it's it's naira by default all right now we have this sorted out I'll I'll just have no option than to I'll, re I'll return it to what it was it should be like this normally all right so but we have to test though so um for testing i think first of all we need to put this um i'm gonna remove this beautiful um and then we have to proceed with the payment but before we proceed with the payment um after payment where is it gonna land which part of our site, which page on our site is it going to open after payment? We have to specify it inside our page tag settings. So here, remember that our platform runs on, uh, if we we'll open this, you're supposed to put your normal URL, but um, if we open our platform, you see that it runs on localhost, our server. I think I should open the server here. You see that our server runs on localhost 127. Point zero point one. So if we come here and do uh, eight thousand, this is the URL for our server since we are still developing. So we need this URL. We come here on paste I can paste it. Paste. Then the, it's actually a callback URL. So we have to go to our, our route file to get the remaining URL. Go to our, uh, at the bottom here uh, this is whatever our site is slash payment callback that is it so I'm gonna copy this slash payment callback all right then for the pay it will be whatever our site is slash pay control copy paste that's whatever our site is slash pay look at it slash pay so um that's beautiful then we have to save um it's saved correctly successfully and now if we now make a payment it's gonna complete now uh if we go to our platform they have given us a fix a fake card to use so i'm gonna use the fake card copy paste remember that if it's the real uh, platform um, you won't see a fake card to use slash zero two zero 
Okay, then four zero eight. Then we we'll click pay. So you see pay with Visa. Click pay. Payment successful. It's redirecting. Um, it redirects me to this page. So this page, the reason why this is my site, look at it, localhost colon 8000, payment callback. The reason why it's spitting out this data is, um, let me show you, look at all the data I brought back. It's because we're spitting out the data from our payment, if we go to our payment app controller, see app HTTP controller, we go to payment controller, we will see that here, immediately we receive the items from Paystack, we are spitting it out. If you use DB, I'm putting any variable in Laravel, it's it being it will be spit spitted out. All right, that's why we are seeing this instead of um, any other thing. So we need to in the next video we need to use this, save it in the database, update the transaction table, update the QR code table, whatever tables we need to update. After updating them, we now redirect the user to a beautiful page or back to the QR code page, whatever. All right. Now um that's it. In the next video, we'll study what we, what we have here and see how we can use it.